Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lanolin, and we are back with Feed the Beast Departed, episode 28. So, I went ahead and did a little bit of running around, and... What did I do with the apples? What? Oh, I know what I did with it. I went ahead and grabbed some more apples, and I... Get off of there. Yeah, I grabbed some apples, made sure I had some oak saplings, because one thing that I actually never did was combine an oak sapling and an apple to make an apple sapling from Pam's Harvest Craft, which we're also going to use this fragmented anima stone to grow it. Good deal. Because we're going to need a bunch of apples if we're going to keep our dudes happy. Cool. Can I... Oh, nice. I can. Awesome. And of course, every time we use one of these guys, we get a little bit of experience. Anima experience. Cool. I did not want to do that. I want... What? I guess if they don't... Okay. I guess if they don't need the apple, they won't take it and you'll just hop onto them. So any type of right-clicking will hop onto them? Hey, okay. That explains the issues I was having early on. I did not realize that. So what I went ahead and did actually is I prepared Two more golden apples to go ahead and try and breed these guys again. Unfortunately, last time things kind of went to shit because, yeah, I kind of forgot I didn't actually have that guy tamed yet. So he was just like, mm, thanks for the apple, buddy. And I'm just kind of standing there, stunned. So we're going to need a fence post for the little baby. So here's apple for you. And here's apple for you. Make my little baby, please. A little baby. Speed, decent, jump, decent. Okay, so your speed is fat. Okay, cool. So you are definitely an upgrade compared to Mama and Papa. What the heck? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, what is that attached to? It's my hand. <laughs> so you can jump better than... Uh, I'm going to say that the diamond guy is dad and the golden one is mom. So you can jump taller than dad can. And you can run faster than mom. But you're not quite as fast as dad, and you can't jump quite as tall as mom. So, okay, that's good. And eventually we'll make another baby, and eventually we'll have a, like, there'll be a kid all the way down the line that's just, like, the greatest in the family. That just shits on everyone. <laughs> kind of. We'll see. So anyway, what we're going to do, actually, because I still have not found a freaking biome... Because uh, we don't just need a savanna biome. We also need a desert biome. A lot of the mobs that we need to get a hold of are in specific biomes, which we have yet to come across. Now, there's just big, empty area here that we haven't explored yet. And while I don't really think there's going to be anything too special in there, there might be. Because there's an ocean biome in there. Or maybe that was down here. Oh, yeah. Maybe this was the ocean biome. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm going to hop on Papa Horse, who no one has named yet. And probably won't, this guy probably won't be named for a few episodes just because uh, I like to stay ahead of my episodes. So he won't have a name for a while. I'll just call him Papa Horse and you can be Mama Horse. And we can go from there. So what I'm going to do is clean up my inventory just a little bit more and hop on Papa Horse and see if I can explore a little bit, clear up this big dark area in the middle of this big circle that we made. And uh, like in the previous episode, I will occasionally pop in and pop out. Searching for this biome. Not as much searching in this episode as it was in the previous episode, just because uh, I've done it enough times now that I can't really call it content anymore. <laughs> so, I will be back. So, I think one of my favorite things about the horses is that you can... Whoa. World hole. Is that you can still, like, eat and drink and throw stuff and shoot animals. Although it's a little tough because the horse's head is in the way. So you can't really see what you're shooting at. Okay, I guess you can't really shoot that well. <laughs> you can shoot bow okay, though. Maybe not. Well, you can at least attack okay. Just because you're kind of like up higher than what you normally would be. Ow. I'm sorry, Mr. Horse. Ooh. Alright, I've got some apples on me, but I should have taken some hay. Uh... I should go grab some hay. I don't want I don't want my pony to die. Oh, you know what I didn't check and see? The health. The health level of the little baby pony. So I'll be back. So baby pony has a lot more health than dad. Not quite as much health as mom. 
So that's good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to run inside real quick and there we go. That is so cool. <laughs> Actually, here we go. I'll just grab these hay bales. I'll just remember to refill it when I get back. So off I go. Come on. Oh yeah, and you can jump over this. I just have to, ugh, I have to get it like at that maximum, you know, see how there at the end where it jumps to that little yellow bit where it's like an extra boosted jump. You just have to hit it at the right time for the nice big jump. Yep, pretty sick. All right, so I am back and a significant amount of time has actually passed. Enough time that actually our little baby pony grew up. <clears throat> look out, look, look how cool he is. I guess he's a little bit better than mama. As far as speed, you know, not quite as good job, but you know, we already went over that. So, in my expeditions, I was able to finally find a savanna and a desert biome. Uh, however, in the meantime, I actually lost Papa Horse, so we had to find a, a new Papa Horse, who's not as good as the original Papa Horse, but he's not too bad. I'm happy with him. Um, <clears throat> now, the downside is that it is very, very far away. I did a ridiculous amount of exploring. So here we are, right here. I explored all over the place looking for a savanna biome. Me and my horsey, we had to come back many times. We camped out at villages and it was actually quite the adventure, but it was a very, very boring adventure that I decided not to record just because I wasn't really doing anything. I was just kind of running around and occasionally I would stop at the village and eat <laughs> or restock food or luckily there's villages everywhere. So like I didn't actually have too much of a problem with food. However, my horse did end up getting killed, and he got killed from fall damage. I was pretty sad. <clears throat> so yeah, this actually took me, multiple days have passed, multiple like real lifetime days have passed, so yeah. So anyway, it is actually way the hell freaking down here. Now if you're like, wow, you actually like somehow magically went directly straight to it. Well. I actually got tired of looking for a biome, so I used a program. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, actually. I'll have to look it up. It'll be in the comments, or in the comments, uh, in the description, the program that I used to find uh, the biome, just so you guys can use it if you have the same problem, because this is ridiculous. This was the closest one to where I was. This one is the closest to here. The closest. So, yeah. That being said, because progression in this pack requires us to go to these biomes, and since this biome is ridiculously far away, guess what that means? Yep, you guessed it. It's time to move. Oh yeah, we're moving again, except this time we're going to have the aid of the horses. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go out and find a donkey, because I don't think I'm going to find a mule. Of all the exploration I did, I never once came across a mule. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe they're like an ultra rare spawn or there's like some other stuff that has to do with mules that make them spawn. I don't know. Uh, a mule would be nice, but I couldn't find any. So we're going to go with a donkey. Uh, a donkey can hold some stuff, just not as much as a mule, which is all good. <clears throat> so I'm going to go find a donkey. I'm going to come back and we're going to pack up and head out. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to leave a bunch of stuff, but that's okay because we're going to have a whole bunch of space. Um, oh, you know what, actually? I think I can upgrade this knapsack. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, man. Maybe that's a more recent version of Tinker's Construct. I thought there was, like, reinforced knapsack and all that stuff, but I guess not. Because I'm thinking it would have come up, wouldn't it? Tinker's. What? Oh, there we go. It's tinkers like that. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. SDX? What is SDX? All right, anyway. Um, knapsack, knapsack, knapsack. Nope, guess not. <clears throat> Maybe that's added by an add-on, the different size of knapsacks. All right, anyway. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to make a bigger knapsack, but I guess not. No big deal, I guess. Uh, I don't think there are any other types of bags or anything. Nope. I'm pretty sure we already went through this. Ah! Alright, well, he's a jerk. 
This Hellfire is actually really cool. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to be back. Probably going to do the old sleep thing. Okay, good. It's just a regular night, so we can go ahead and sleep. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to sleep, come back with the donkey. Hopefully. All right, we're back. And I, I got a donkey, but we're being chased by enemies. So, ah. And my horse is kind of like hurt. The only thing that kind of sucks when riding the horse is when you have to fight um, enemies that shoot because they usually hit the horse rather than myself. And the horse can't really, this particular horse doesn't really have that much health. So, kind of shuck. So, I'm going to make my way back home and hopefully it doesn't take me a freaking hour <laughs> like it did last time. I, I don't think it took me an hour, but it took me a long time. I think like, I don't know, like 20 minutes. It was way too freaking long. So, anyway, I will be back. Oh, we actually made it home. Oh, okay. At, right as I start up recording, I drop the lead. But it, it was actually not too painful this time around. I think I, it's because I kind of, like, took my time. Didn't try to rush. Come on, buddy. There you go. <clears throat> I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not quite. I mean, we're in the town. We're in thick town. But we're not quite home to what's probably going to be henceforth known as base bravo base bravo indeed so it's base number two we're on our way to base charlie did we make it oh my goodness now I th i'm pretty sure donkeys uh also respond to apples oh, i dropped them come on now come on now give me give me the lead just like randomly decides to break it's kind of annoying I mean, I'm sure there's some mechanic that I'm like missing to doing this, and I'm gonna actually look it up before on my before I go on my crazy journey. But you know, until then. So anyway, we made it home. Good times. Give me a moment, and I will be right back. Actually, just kidding. I need to hang you up there. And then, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's right. I can pull along too at the same time. <clears throat> I wonder if I can hook. You to him. No? Okay. Didn't think so. Well, you come here. There you go, buddy. There you go. And you. <laughs> you need some health because you're, like, dying. It's weird. Whenever I leave this area and it unloads, sometimes these guys, like, their leads disappear. They're, they're still connected. They just, like, disappear. Oops. So. Weird. Oh man, the gods are pissed. Alright, so let me toss all this stuff in here. And let's see go about training this guy. Now I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to give you... There you go. Nice. So these, like I said, these guys can fill up to 20 hearts of health. So I'm thinking, like, horses can have some serious amounts of health. So, let's train you up. Oh, you're not the right person. Train, train, train. I don't really know how difficult it is to train donkeys compared to horses. Come on, jerk. Don't yeehaw at me. How many apples do you want? Oh my goodness. Love me. Love me. Yeah, alright, there we go. So... I'm pretty... Yeah, he can use... I think I need to get a chest. I, like, right-click him with the chest, and he should have capacity. So let's make a chest. And I think I need to make another saddle as well. <clears throat> if not, I can just snag one off one of the other horses if I can't make one. So actually, I can't remember what the recipe is for the saddles. But I'll look it up in a moment. First things first, chest time. There you go. Look at that, he a little chest on his butt. Cool. You can put stuff in there. Haha. -ha. Kind of small. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the uh, the other guys can hold a bit more. But he might be able to have multiple ch Oh my god, you have no face. That's so creepy. I wonder if he can hold multiple chests. I'm actually not sure. Let's see.
Nope, just one. What about horses? Nope, okay. I didn't think so. And you're just like, fuck off. Because <laughs> I actually haven't tamed that guy yet. All right, awesome. So obviously a lot of this crap's going to get left behind. Uh, I'm not totally sure what stuff's going to come with, what stuff's going to leave. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to stick around in this base for a little while longer, uh, but unfortunately not. Now, I remember originally I was like, we should stay here because there's a um, extreme hills biome right next door. Man, there are extreme hills biomes all over the place, everywhere. So I'm not even worried about that. These, however, are, are like literally nowhere. So definitely going to go living over there. So like I said, um, I'm not sure how much time. I think we have about 15 minutes left in the episode maybe. So what I'm going to actually go ahead and do is the rest of this episode is going to be me periodically checking in with you guys as I'm running and running and running and running and running and running and running all the way down there. So, yeah, it's going to be awful. It is going to be absolutely awful, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. <laughs> all right, so I guess I can, uh... Oh, well. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so, I'm back, and I was thinking a little bit, and uh, I remembered that the Nether exists, and there is a possibility that when we actually get to our destination, where the hell down here, it may actually be considerably faster if we build another portal down there to get back to our base via this nether portal down here. Like, we go to the nether, we make a portal, we pop out in some spot, we see where our portal is using our map, run to that portal, come through there, and then hopefully reappear here, reappear here at our base. Which would be really good because it would make bringing all of our stuff back really, really, really straightforward and simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring kind of like a minimal amount of stuff with me, like my important stuff I'm going to bring with. Um, maybe grab some bullets. I'm going to bring the hunter's rifle, but not the other gun because the other gun actually kind of sucks. It just has a very strong knockback, which is nice. Uh, so anyway, we are going to do that. I think that sounds like quite the plan. I know, I've already actually got the donkey all ready to go. Um, see, he's got stuff all in him. I don't have a saddle for him just because I don't have a saddle. So I don't really feel like... I never actually made up, looked up how to make one, actually. Let me look. Oh, well, there's not even a recipe. So, yeah, I guess I can't even make a saddle. So next time we go to the nether, go to the nether, actually, we should probably make sure to grab any saddles that we come across. Same thing with the horse armor because apparently you can't make that either. So, now I know. So anyway, I'm going to get these guys ready to go. You're all healed up. Um, again, hopefully we'll be able to come back with these guys. If not, no big deal. Who has more health? I think I'm actually going to take... I don't think I'm going to take this horse. I think I'm going to train up this guy. So give me a second. I'm going to tame this dude. Make him love me. Actually, I need more apples. Whoa. Did not expect that. Never do. Never ever do. I could have swore I had more apples on me. Oh, you know what? I think the donkey has most of my food. Give me my food. Thank you. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we're all tamed and ready to go. See, look how much more health this guy has compared to the other two. So I went ahead and grabbed him. He's not quite as fast. I definitely can't jump as high. Or he can jump a lot higher, but he's not quite as fast. So we're taking Sun out to go rescue. Or not rescue, we're not rescuing anything. Damn. Oh yeah, I forgot about the donkey. Crap. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm going to get on my way. And like I said, I'm going to periodically check in with you guys as I'm heading out. Just so you can kind of share in the experience of this long as hell trip. Uh, the next episode, just fair warning, is probably going to be mostly travel related. So just be ready for that. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have to rendezvous actually at Base Alpha and take a little break and collect uh, cotton seeds that I left for whatever freaking reason. So, hell yeah. Pretty stoked about that. Now, where are we? Okay, so we want to head out and head south. All right, we're going. Here we go. Off we go. And so at this point, we're well into the snow biome at this point. The ice plains nipping out our cheeks as we ride through swiftly on our horse. But not too swiftly, because we don't want to lose this jackass behind us. <laughs> I got jokes. I uh, swear so we at exactly. We are just coming up on this first village that we ever found. 
We're quite far away from base Alpha, so we're probably going to... Let's cruise around the village. Oh, actually, it's getting dark, so maybe we should check into the village for tonight. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh, wow, perfect. Spot to put our dudes down. So let me saddle you up right there. Let me hop off and saddle you up right there. All right. I'm going to hop in here and take a quick little nap and be right back. Wait, are we being attacked? What the heck? What a dick. I don't want this crap, so I'm just going to throw you over here. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. Take a quick little nap. So we're back awake. I've been cruising along just a little bit. Having a little bit of trouble with this lead. It keeps breaking. Like, it's probably broken, I think, four times in the time it took for me to walk from that from that little house around the town. I, I don't know. Kind of weird. It might have something to do with the hills, but we're making decent progress. Hopefully here soon. Oh, see, I lost it again. It might be because of the hills. Ugh. It's going to be a long trip. I'm going to have to stop every ten seconds to pick this guy back up. I will be back. Probably, I'll probably come back once we get to base alpha. It's not too far away now. Not too much going on. Just me stopping every 10 seconds to pick this leash back up. I'm trying not to run at max speed, but it still kind of tends to drop. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see base alpha. Ah, oh, that little patch of trees. That ugly cobblestone wall. Ah, oh, that's only one place I know of. Oh, and look, it's infested with yetis. Of course it is. Aw, uh, I'm so excited to be home. Oh man, I forgot to grab those fence posts. Crap. Because, I mean, that's like the only way to, uh, to, like, lock these guys up is to attach them to fence posts. Crap. Look, we're home. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. Well, we're probably going to shack up here for night, or for tonight, and then we'll come back in the next episode uh, and do a whole bunch more running around. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to check it out and see what things are doing, how things are doing. No baddies, please. Now, I'm pretty sure I can pass under here. Ugh! I can. And Donkey can too. Very cool. But yeah, don't worry, we're going we're to take a moment to check it out. Um, you just, like, relax, I guess. Nice. Nice and empty. <laughs> See, I just kind of shoved everything into chests and took all the nice chests and all that fun stuff. Bed's still here. That's good. In fact, I'll probably grab this bed. Probably a good idea. Nice. So anyway, let me go ahead and double check, make sure we're not going too far over on time. Nope, we're still good. We're still good. So like I said, next episode, we're going to work on traveling all the way back down to this area where we're going to be able to encounter a lot of uh, enemies that we're going to need to in order to progress in Feed the Beast Departed. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Landlin. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next episode, again, we're going to be doing a lot of traveling, so I hope you're ready for that. I am not really ready for that. Hey, a fist post. I'm, like, semi-ready for it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, is take a little bit of time, and I think I might make myself some chests and stuff like that probably be a good idea <clears throat> oh nice I left stuff in the crafting table yeah, I'll probably take this crafting table with me too so yeah it's a good thing we stopped by here because there's actually some uh, resources here that we can use um, what did I want to make? yeah I wanted to make a couple chests for when we stop places I wanted to take the cotton seeds with me I'm pretty sure I have furnaces on me yeah but hey I'll take some more furnaces why not so, again, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Landlin. This has been Feed the Beast Departed episode. Uh, I think we're on 28. I can double check just to be totally sure. Yes, this has been episode 28 of Feed the Beast Departed. Many, many more episodes to come. Join me next time when we go on an epic traveling journey all the way down to here. And don't worry, I won't make the journey last a whole bunch of episodes. It'll only be just the one episode. Because uh, it, it's going to take me a long, long, long time. But it'll only take us, well, you guys watching just an episode. So be sure to tune in and enjoy in the agony. But who knows, it might be fun. But it'll probably be horrible. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Dude, I hate these guys that get the free hits in, man. Because they're freaking hitboxes. It's dumb. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.